my friends, how are you? I'm just gonna quickly preface this video. So I went to my friend Walter's the other night and we did mushrooms together and I recorded most of that trip and that's this video. You may know Walter from one of my stories in my video titled something like first acid trip talking to the police in which I tell the story the first time I did acid and then cops ended up surrounding me because we were being too noisy and I had to like talk my way out of that. If you haven't seen that video, check it out in the description after if you want uh, or now and then come back to this one though. But Walter is in that video. He's the one who dove behind the bushes. And it's funny, Boris is in that video as well. Another, well, no, it's been revealed on the channel now that that's my brother, Boris. And it's funny, they were both in that video. And then my brother, Boris, or Brody's his real name, was in the last video. And now you get to meet Walt. And I actually have another friend who wants to do DMT with me on stream. And Walter actually also wants to do that. So I got a lot of guest videos um, involving DMT coming up soon in April and that's gonna be great uh, we're gonna go outside and do it and we're gonna find a cool place to do it and um, yeah really looking forward to that video and then also my brother and I are going to science world or the aquarium next weekend and we're gonna do acid there <laughs> so like yeah I feel like those are all gonna be just fantastic videos I'm so glad I get to collaborate like with my friends and family and stuff now and have people on my in my videos it's gonna be cool I'm gonna have to add, there was we were playing music in the background a lot through, throughout the night and so I'm gonna have to like edit that out the best I can and if you know it might not sound great so I apologize if it doesn't thank you to all my subscribers all the new people thank you for joining me I'm glad to have you here I'm glad to have you aboard if you haven't subscribed you know subscribe because I ain't going nowhere and I mean you like my videos we know that much i think my subscriber viewer rate which is like how many subscribers account for the views i get on a video is about 15 percent or so it's been steadily rising but it's still not quite where i want it to be you know there's probably quite a few of you out there watching my videos but haven't pulled the trigger yet but like i said i ain't going nowhere so S subscribe you know you don't have to Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. I'm, I'm pretty sure the footage turned out pretty good. I'm looking forward to editing it. And I hope you have a lovely life. I'll see you again. Don't worry. I just... I mean, it's true. I wish you a good life. He lives about an hour away, so... We got a ways to go. We are... Let me wait for a better scenery before I start talking. A big pile of dirt. And these are nice homes, but it's still not like a good representation of the area. Anyways, I'm going to see my friend Walter. So we're going to uh, do some mushrooms. Not sure how many yet. I brought a quarter with me. I'm not going to do a quarter. Then also he's got some. He's going to give me some penis envy ones because uh, I've wanted to try those. And every time I try to go get them, they're always sold out at the place I go to. It's like God doesn't want me to do them. It's probably because I like don't. I don't know, it has something to do, like, maybe it's just because I never get penis envy, like, in real life. It's just something I never get, because, uh, I'm really confident with my small dick. No, I'm just kidding. I have, I have a big, massive... Penis envy ones are apparently, like, way stronger than, no, like, every other strain. It's by far the strongest strain, I guess, apparently, online. I've seen some people say that not that's not been the case for their for the, I heard some people say that's not the case in their experience, but like can't you just test for potency so it'd be easily proven? So I tend to believe that they're very potent. I like to live in a moment. Alright, look at this big house. What color did they paint that thing? That's not even a color. Or a shade. Oh, that's the that's the fucking insulation. Look at those mountains over there. They reached the clouds! They reached the freaking clouds! Hey guys, we just pulled up at Walters and so yeah, let's head in and say hello. And uh, yes, I'm excited for tonight. It's always fun uh, hanging out with Walter.
It looks futuristic as fuck. It's sweet once again, it's going, I swear to god. I think I fuck I think I like just do the like instructions out too. Are you able to fly it in here? Oh yeah. Oh really? Is yeah. that precise? It's not bad, but it's... Cause you get the ones from like those like stores that sell like uh edible underwear. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And they'd like be all like janky and they like fly into walls and shit. Can it hover in one place? Uh, kind of. You, you do have to make adjustments. Oh. Oh. Activate. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's been a really long time. Oh no, shit. Shit. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? This is not a good idea. Yeah, probably not. Hey guys, I'm here at house. We just took about three grams each of mushrooms. And we did the lemon tech, so they're hitting me pretty quick. They're already hitting me, we just took them. I'm not sure if this is me or it, or if I feel like they're hitting me already. Yeah. 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 I got a couple, of, yeah. You know, when you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, you, you ever listen to, uh, uh, you're right, he, Yeah, my dad was a really big fan. This is, this is like a one-off album that the guitarist did called Weed. Weed? Weed. <laughs> Just weed. He just went somewhere and was like, I'm going to record an album. And it's going to be called Weed. Yeah, well, Dan, these are hitting you really quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty uh, wavy, actually. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't think I grinded them enough when I did the tech the first time. That is the trick. Yeah, yeah. And now my my grinder is like mushroom bits all in it. Oh. Well, that's, that's easier. What time is it again? Right now? I have no idea. I honestly have no clue. It could be two or eight. <laughs> It's 10 to 7. Right in the middle, well, sort of. <laughs> you lose track of time when there's no windows. <laughs> well, yeah, you it's know, still lighter. We've only been here for like, yeah. It could be 2 minutes. in the morning. It could be 8 in the morning. True. Then they did, they did an experiment, they put a whole bunch of people in a room with no lights and no time or anything like that. And they said, go to bed whenever. <laughs> they didn't say creepy like that, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to And then uh, apparently they ended up uh, sleeping not on like a 24-hour schedule. They just sleep like cat nap sort of, I guess. So it was different than how we sleep now. I forget exactly how it was, but it was different. Just goes to show we sleep like in an unnatural way, I guess. But what is unnatural? I think 24 hours of like pitch blackness would be very unusual, very unnatural. 24 hours of pitch blackness? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like that in Alaska. Yeah. Or not pitch black. But they also have the opposite of that too. Oh where yeah. They, where there's like weeks of only light. I don't think that makes up for it though. No, but it like... I think it'd be cool to be at nighttime all the time. Like party all the time. <laughs> That's those fucking vampires come out like that fucking movie. Did you ever see 30 Days of Night? No. Have you maybe told me about this before? I think you have. It's like up in Alaska and like they're about to enter 30 days of night time. Uh. And like the vampires in that movie are really good. Like they don't speak English. They're not classy. They're not rich. They're like actual monsters. Mm. I like I like the classier ones. Because oh, this, this ones are just like, they're clearly the bad guys. There are no good vampires. I see. You know what they need to make? It's a cool vampire movie today. Like, not like, uh, you know, because everyone's got the idea of vampires as being like, 
you know, Twilight screwed up the whole image of the vampire. But they can make like a cool like counter movie to that. I don't know, I think vampires have kind of been overdone. I guess so. But none sounded cool except like Blade, I guess. <laughs> that was so long ago. Blade sucks, I could kill it. <laughs> no way, man. Blade? I've seen him do backflips with that leather jacket. I wonder how does that leather jacket cost? Like in real life or in the movie? Both. <laughs> in real life? No, probably, I don't know, two grand. <laughs> I can see it in the pawn shop, so I'm bringing it in. Yo, this is a Blade's jacket. Chun Li be like, mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I, I could totally imagine that because, like, Wesley Snipes, like, got in, like, a shitload of, like, trouble. He, he went to jail for, like, tax evasion. Did he? <laughs> you, yeah. sound, you, sound, you sound so saddened by that. You're like, he went to jail. He, he did. He owed them, like, did I, he? Yeah, no, you don't, you don't even heard about that. He used to like be, have a no, one of the biggest talk shows. The news. You probably just didn't hear about it. Oh yeah, I don't listen to the news. Also, this was like also a while ago now. But but like the the Blade trilogy was like already a thing. Okay, that album. Was this is Martini drinking music. Is it? I think so. <laughs> you disagree? I, I don't know. It I sounds, mean, it sounds classy, fancy. <laughs> You know what I want is a telescope that can look at, like, Saturn and see the rings? Like, in real time. I don't think that's something you can just buy. Right. I think that's something that you need to, like, manufacture. Mm, well, if Percy had to manufacture it. <laughs> no, but like you would have to have it built. Like if you couldn't just be like, oh, like hey, I want the, like the Saturn bottle. Well, that that seems like the, the the probably the thing people request the most. <laughs> well, we have to spe He wants one that looks at Saturn's rings. We have a special make. I mean, how detailed are we talking? Like I need to see every little pebble. <laughs> Just like I'm talking about blurry fucking image. If you have a lot fun. of backyard like telescopes, like certain times of the year, yeah, you can totally see Saturn. But if it's just like you know. Okay, yeah, that, I guess that's all I'm really asking for. I want to see Saturn. <laughs> but it would I don't know why I said like, like in little, real time. It would still be just a little dot. Oh yeah, see that's. I got a feeling for another tempo. Dude, I'm really like fucking high already. Yeah, man. That's that's the grinding the up. You gotta grind it up. <coughs> It's already in you. You just have to believe. Right? <laughs> do you remember that remind me of do you remember that movie um, Superstar? Yeah. <laughs> she did the spirit fingers. <laughs> no, it wasn't it jazz hands? No 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 that, that was that was our turn. Well, what a ripoff. Now that I think about it. I mean it's a it's a thing. Spirit fingers? Well spirit fingers I think is a specific thing. I think they invented that though. Maybe not. Maybe a side has to go through the door for my garage. And she's like, oh, I want to make it for your man cave. I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. Don't call it my man cave. <laughs> she's like, well, what is it? I'm like, I don't know. Like, it's my hideout. That's very like, it's my headquarters. That's very like bro y, yeah. yeah. Man cave. She made me a sign. And it's my, it's my hide quarters. Your, your hide quarters or your. Hide quarters. Hide quarters? Yeah. Nice. I can't remember what you said. <laughs> uh, like, well, it's a hideout headquarters. Yeah, that makes sense. Hide quarters. I, I'm gonna grab my drink. Yeah. Uh, very high. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't say. It doesn't say grapefruit anywhere. It alludes to the grapefruit, though. I think it's just a punch product. I think that to, to put there's probably some legal thing. If you put grapefruit on it, you gotta actually have grapefruit in there. We gotta, we gotta pay big grapefruit. Yes. Big grapefruit is big. <laughs> Catch a groove. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Did I sing it all in this? There's almost lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Was Cher the first one to use auto tune? Oh, oh god, no. A lot of people think. But it's just because that's the one song. That's the first one I that, that, like, that you, you did miss. 
all that too. Right, but she she's the first one to do it. Like use it. <laughs> it's like it how good times is attributed to like starting hip hop. Share is attributed to starting auto. <laughs> oh yeah, she invented it. The she's technology. Not, she, she's not, she no, no, she it. did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> no, she's a fucking software <laughs> genius. Yeah. I watched the whole video on like that that fucking song. The YouTube video is a popular YouTube video about it. It's been circulating. <laughs> it's been going about. People have been taking it. Yeah, I mean it's an important part of our history and heritage. It is, and people have like a lot of misconceptions about it, like what it is. And then also, I don't have a problem with people using it like uh, like Ti or whatever using, because there's, there's just so many things. Engine, it's like sound producers do to like manipulate the sound by the time it gets to like, <coughs> you but know, like the anything, consumer I that know, like. And the overdoing of it sucks. Right, but then it's like, then if you listen to like electronic mu music, it's like all synthesized. So it's like, then what's the difference then? It's like where you draw the line. So it's like, I don't know. I think autotune is just a tool to like, I don't know. It's a good tool. But you've got to have like, a good voice to make auto tune work really good. Like you can't just be like, and it'll make you sound amazing. Oh, T Pain. It's probably pretty bad. No, he's like a really good singer. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can see that. I can see that. I'm not surprised. I just thought you with auto tune, right? It's like you could be a phenomenal singer, but if you only use it. But but like only to you can't just be like like I said you can't be like ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. and it's gonna like make you sound like magic. <laughs> <laughs> you could be you could yeah. have bad you could be tone deaf, and it'll fix that. If you could trade lives with someone in uh, 1600, a sailor in 1600, would you? Sailor? No, it'd be so hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at a sailor in your thing. It looked like a. It look cool. <laughs> no man, that would be fucking terrible. I like, like, just, for just the footwear. Just the footwear alone. Well, what do you wear when like, you're at the beach? I, I just imagine like 1600 sailors. I don't know, wooden shoes. I don't well, know. well, why would they use wood? <laughs> or just they're... no shoes. I think that shoes. They could build a ship. <laughs> <laughs> No sailboating, like like shoes, is like a big deal. Yeah. Like, there's a whole industry <laughs> just about like sailboat shoes. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I accept your answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's pretty, it's pretty protective of his sailboat shoes. But like. Uh, uh, sometimes you hear people like, oh, th today sucks. You know, it used to be so much better back then. People used to be so much cooler. Like, it's a big misconception, I think. Like, they want to be like, uh, I wish I could trade lives with like uh, someone in the 1600s, a sailor. But you go you had the right answer. What is that instrument? The what instrument is that? Uh, is that, is that, is that the no, the, uh, oh, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my eye injury? No, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. No. Not I got here. injured at work by stabbing myself in the eye with the with the Velcro strap of my safety gloves. Is a Velcro strap of your safety gloves? Yeah. Oh, really? How that? How'd you do that? I've been putting on my safety glasses. <laughs> 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 They're meant for safety. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like funny because I, I was literally grinding rust. Oh, damn. With like, you know, an angle grinder. So, like. As one would do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was removing rust. Like, it was. And, like, I thought it would go away, but it got worse and worse and worse. Oh, that's not good. Your eye doesn't have any nerves to feel pain. Really? No. What if I put a needle you're, in there? Yeah, you won't feel it. Yeah, right. You're, sorry, no, I should. I, I retract that. You'll fucking feel it, but you won't register as pain. Okay, I see, I see. But like, it's so yeah, gross. 
Will it still be gross? <laughs> yeah, like, okay, you know what? The, the, think about that. We'll get, we'll get to that. Yeah, so okay, okay. I go to the doctor. He drops a drop in my, like, like an eye drop in. But yeah, you're in so the- So he freezes my eye, like this drop, and that sucked. It was, it stuck so Oh, really? Bad. Yeah. A drop? Hmm, interesting. Like yeah, like completely, like it was in the cane family. Wonder what the the cane family. It was like it was like, it was like liquid. Oh, oh one of those. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Interesting. He gave, he gave me the rest of it too. Oh, really? I threw it out. Oh. Is it like it's like after you open it, like I think four days later, like it's no good. <laughs> yeah. Why would you want it? <laughs> Yeah, like, what are you gonna do? Some, like, freeze your eyeballs? Like, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my eyes! Yeah! But he numbed it so he could put the uh, the dye in it. And he looked through my eye. Or, sorry, he didn't look through my eye. He looked at my eye with the mm -hmm. dye in it. The light's off. Like, the UV light. Mm -hmm. There was, like, a fucking cut all the way across my eye. Oh, really? And he's like, I can see it. He's in the background, like, Bleh. Oh, like, why would you watch that? <laughs> she was curious up until like, oh yeah, he's got a fucking splice across his eyeball. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's that sucks. Nasty. Like, he's like, he it could be fine tomorrow. It, it could bother you for the rest of your life. I have no idea. I'm just a janitor. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking like crazy. I kind of just dealt with it's it. It's fine though. No. Oh, damn. It's not. I went to, um, that happened in September. It only gets irritated every now and then. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And, like, basically, I just, like, my, my, my solution is to just go to sleep. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wake up and everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I was like, other shit works well, like that. it usually only happens at the end of the day. I went to... Like a specialist. Uh huh. Um, which is a funny story in itself. Like, I went to the, I got to the building, it's not in Abbotsford. I think this big, like, I don't know, it looks like something like a Bond villain would, like, hang out at. Like, it's just like, it, like it's so out of place. Like, Your but appointment. Like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it, I have cysts all over my eyeball. Sit all over it. Not all over, just by the where the. Well, cup right, is. right, yeah, yeah. And he's, That's so he's terrible. Saying, you gotta get, you gotta put this cream on. Uh huh. Every day for six months. Eye cream. Yeah. Like on the eyeball. I gotta, I gotta go like this and smear it on the inside of my eyeball. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. Oh. I'll take it upstairs and show you. It's called mirror no. one two eight. Oh, I, I believe you. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it later if you want. Okay, you, you ever you ever melt uh, butter in a pan and how it kind of just goes melts? Like like it'll go from a solid stick of butter to liquid. Mm -hmm. That's what it does, goes does in your eyeball. Oh okay. It's not that bad. Now that I think it's about it, like bad. dropping water is probably like it's easier than sand. To drop. Yeah okay yeah. Honestly, like those are annoying. Because it's like. <laughs> It's the reaction, but uh, yeah, after that, it's all good. So he's like, okay, if this doesn't work in six months, like, I gotta do an operation. Oh. I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds terrible. And he's like, oh, it, it gets worse. I'm like, oh. He said that. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I gotta take a needle and stab your eyeball about 30 times with it. And then I put a contact lens over it, and that should make it heal. I'm like, that's, that's, Why? that sucks, dude. Ooh. And he's like, no, yeah, it's good. It, it'll suck. I was like, but it'll probably work. And if it doesn't work, then I have to, like, laser it. What's that? What's that involve? A laser? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's scary. Yeah, man. Well, okay, so what are the symptoms of the thing? like? Uh, of, of just, like, my eye when it gets irritated? Yeah, but what if you don't go to the doctor? Like, imagine getting sand stuck in your eye. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, that's anything what it's like. like. And you can't, you can't get it out. And Visine makes it worse. Does it hurt? It's kind of a weird thing because it gets on my eye. It's just annoying. It's it does not pain, but it's, yeah, right, like, right, right. It feels like that's my eyelids. Probably get, worse than pain. I'm like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I yeah, I got that. That's uh, that's shitty. Yeah. And you did everything right. You had to.
concierge. Thank you for watching. Seriously, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you so, so much. Thank you all for just listening to me and just being a part of this community. For liking if you've liked, for commenting if you commented, for 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 not e for for not even being here. Thank you for not the ones who didn't click on my video. And also, you're welcome. I like to think that you said no. Thank you, Junk Bond Trader, for the videos probably you said that and so i'm just saying you're welcome if you didn't say that then fine you don't have to accept my welcome just you know this is a two-way street we're both getting something out of this deal i'm just reminding you of that okay it's it's not all you guys like oh thanks the subscribers oh it's all you guys without you guys this channel would be nothing that's not true i, I it would still have me i'm like the core component just keep that just remember that i'm just kidding I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. I like fucking around with you guys. I love you so much. Cheers. Peace. Much love, everybody. Much love. Spread it. Take it around. Spread it on people aggressively. Don't force, don't force anything in life. It's just a good rule all around. All right. Peace. Peace.